Good evening, I'm Dave Carger. Thanks for joining me here on Turner Classic Movies. We're beginning to wind down this year's 31 days of Oscar celebration, but we're not done yet. Tonight, we're shining a spotlight on Oscar-winning and nominated movies about the powerful bonds between teachers and students. Historically, these kinds of dramas have often been strong Oscar contenders, and our first film tonight won a major award during what was arguably the most competitive year in Academy Awards history. From 1939, it's Goodbye, Mr. Chips. Set in an English boys' school, it's the story of a British teacher, Charles Chipping, played by Robert Donat, who's known around the school as Chips. After a rough start, he grows into his role, becoming a master educator and a beloved institution at the school, thanks in large part to the help of a spirited young woman, played by Greer Garson. Robert Donat gives a beautifully compelling performance here, maturing from a young man in his 20s to a respected elder in his 80s. His work on this film earned him an Oscar nomination, the second of his career, coming one year after his first for 1938's The Citadel. In 1939, when he was nominated for Mr. Chips, Donat faced stiff competition. His fellow nominees were Jimmy Stewart in Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, Laurence Olivier for Wuthering Heights, Mickey Rooney in Babes in Arms, and Clark Gable for Gone with the Wind. But they didn't win. Robert Donat did. The movie also earned an Oscar nomination for Greer Garson, which was especially impressive because this was Garson's feature film debut. I'll talk a little bit more about that after we see the movie. From 1939, filmed at MGM's British studio and also featuring a newcomer named Paul Henreid, billed here as Paul von Hernreid. Goodbye, Mr. Chips. <laughs> That has to be one of the best final lines of any movie, and Robert Donat went on to win the Oscar for his performance as Mr. Chips. For Greer Garson, this was her feature film debut, and she pulled off a rare achievement, earning a Best Actress Oscar nomination for her very first role. This was the first of seven nominations Garson would receive over the course of her career, and she won just three years later for her indelible performance as Mrs. Miniver. In another rare feat, Greer Garson became one of two actresses ever to be nominated for Academy Awards five years in a row. Betty Davis was the first, nominated every year consecutively from 1938 to 1942, and Greer Garson followed her with nominations from 1941 to 1945. Up next, John Houseman gives an Oscar-winning performance as a law professor in a film from 1973 co-starring Timothy Bottoms.